Darren, first of all, just reflecting on the win on Chorley the other day, that you must have taken confidence from that one into this game on Sunday. It was nice to get the win, obviously, after the, the, the two previous games where we hadn't won. Played OK in the second half at Harrogate, started the game OK at Hartlepool, um, but then obviously not getting the results in the two games led to a a nervy game against Chorley. Now I know I know people expect to look at a league table and go, well they're bottom of the league so we should win, but it never ever plays out like that, does it? I actually thought they did okay on the day. Um so it was a it was a, a difficult day in terms of the conditions and how the pitch played towards the end of the game. Um and we played nervy. We did play nervy. But you know, we created opportunities and some of our attacking play was, was pretty good. And obviously we got a couple of goals. Maybe could have got one more goal, two more goals, maybe the, with, with the chances that were created. But the most important thing out of, out of the game was to, to get that winning feeling back. And, and thankfully we've done that. Does that game sort of show that the character that this side have got when we're patient with it in that second half and we were there to grind out the result? Yeah, I mean, it's... We have, by and large, in most games, had enough play and enough opportunity to, to, for us to be doing better. There's no denying that. Um, so in a game like that, when you'd feel going 1-0 down, that was a real low point. I felt low. I looked across at Junior. Mm. Junior looked like he'd just taken a right hook as well. Mm. Um, so it kicked everyone when we was down, but to respond the way we did, you know, and I ain't saying it's it, we was fantastic, but certainly to turn a game round in them conditions, mm. show a bit of grit and determination, and, and come out winners, certainly a very nice feeling that we all shared in the change room after that. You know, we we won again and got that feeling back and got three points, and it was it was an enjoyable moment, yeah. Going forward now, you must be looking forward to getting back into cup action with a big tie here at, here at the Hive. Yeah, and obviously what the sort of noise that's being made around us is, is all based on how we've done in, the, in mm. the cup last year. You know, we've had a lot of people showing interest uh, on, the back of, on the back of the Potter's Bar game where, you know, local derby and... You know, you know, a, a very big day in in their history, um, and obviously taking us to the the replay. You know, we we very quickly become the underdog this mm. time round. Mm. Fleet would come down on on the back of some decent form, albeit they lost at the weekend, but some decent form. Um, top six in League One, so straight away that tells you they're a decent mm. side, and. We've watched some of their stuff that they've been playing, so they're a, they're a good football inside as well. So it's a really exciting game for us, and one that you know I have no doubt that because I've got the majority of the group that was with us last season, they'll be they'll be confident based on what they achieved last season. I know it's a different season and a, and and a different cup round, um, obviously this year, but they'll be confident because of their antics last year in, mm. in the tournament so they'll go into the game believing that there's a chance to especially with it being at home as well on, on our pitch they'll believe that we'll, we'll be confident and rightly so I'll, I'll be backing them on that you know if we if we perform to our potential mm. then we'll be a match for most teams just how big of a confidence boost could it be not only for your team but also to the fans if we can go out there and get a win and maybe emulate a run this season as well yeah I mean it will be nice it will be nice to have that type of run again. What I would be mindful of was the impact that the run had last year with, with obviously the backlog of, backlog of games. Um, <clears throat> but that won't change my approach. You know, if, you know, you see it in the press at the minute with, with Liverpool, for example, because they're being successful, they've got games every, yeah. every three days. And, you know, that's what comes when, when you win games and you are successful. You, you end up with lots of football matches. So... Hopefully that will be the case with us. We'll put in a good show on Sunday and try our best to get through the tie. And if it means our league campaign, we end up with one or two games in, in hand, then so be it. I, I want to win every game that I, I go into. 